And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin for June 2nd. Well, it's good to be back in the normal way for tropical weather bulletin season. And so it is. Tropical Depression 3 has formed in the southern Gulf of Mexico this June 2nd and a tropical depression uh, just off the coast of India to look at today as well. Tropical depression 3 marked there. Also, we've got down an area of interest at 10% chance near the Azores probably won't form. Day 19 in the Eastern Pacific, no systems active, although one or two models were hinting that the 3L could go back into the Eastern Pacific. Doubt at this point. Tropical depression there, still tag 93A, and why you've got X92A there, that's because it was a tropical storm by our estimates not so long ago. Southern Hemisphere, pretty quiet right now on that whistle stop tour. So this is Tropical Depression 3 right now, 30 mile an hour winds, a pressure of 1007 millibars, CDPS stage 2, 64 miles from Campeche in uh, Mexico on the Yucatan Peninsula, 20.2 degrees north. This is what we expect over the next few days then for the storm to meander and the National Hurricane Center indeed on their forecast has the storm moving extremely slowly. That's because they really have no idea where it's going to go. But models are suggesting that later on this system could develop into a significant tropical storm as you can see on that chart there and head into the central Gulf of Mexico. Some models suggest uh, that it might not even be this system, that another system will develop out of the ashes of Tropical Depression 3 and become that next tropical storm which will then move up through the Gulf uh, but nonetheless towards the end of this uh, week into the weekend into next week we could be looking at significant potential for a tropical cyclone along the Gulf Coast. There's the Eastern Pacific you can see the shot there as well uh, another good look at what used to be Amanda which has now become Tropical Depression 3L. One or two sources suggesting that they are one and the same thing, but with the National Hurricane Center labeling it 3L, it will get the, new, the next name on the Atlantic naming list and will not carry the name Amanda. In the Western Pacific, there's a tiny pathetic looking swirl off the coast of the Philippines. Um, it has been noted, it is a slight depression, but it's extremely weak, nothing to it, nothing going on with it. It will probably completely be off the map in the next 24 to 48 hours. Apart from that, nothing at all to report in the Western Pacific today. South Pacific, similarly, I uh, really show these graphics for continuity, honestly, as you can see. Very little going on here. Who knows, there could be late season activity, but it's not looking like it, honestly. The Indian Ocean, hub of activity still. That tropical depression off the western coast of India. Um, it's looking less likely that it will be a substantial cyclone that we were looking at earlier in model runs. Uh, but we, we still think it could cause significant impact, especially if it's a rainmaker. Sea surface temperatures boiling hot off the coast of Mexico. The southern gulf looking good as well, 26 degrees plus. The gulf stream as well up there towards the west coast of east coast of Florida, sorry, 26 degrees plus. Um, the main development region of the Atlantic warming up lovely, nicely. Um, of course, there could be some significant tropical cyclones there this year. And in the North Indian Ocean, very warm sea surface temperatures, not going to be a problem for that depression. 30 degrees plus, same too around the Philippines into the South China Sea, and not too far away out over the main area of the West Pack. These are here the sea surface temperature anomalies right now as well, which we're showing for the first time on Tropical Weather Bulletins. And you can see there a bit of a La Nina. Tropical Depression 3, um, latest satellite imagery, clear rotation just off the coast of uh, the Yucatan in the far southeastern corner there of the Bay of Campeche, which uh, really uh, you don't really see systems stalling there for very long. Usually they develop and they move and track towards the west. It's a pretty odd situation that we've found ourselves in, in which this system could stall for the best part of three, maybe even four days as we go over to the infrared channel there overlaid on the visible. Um, you can see there not a huge amount of convection near the center, but rainfall amounts could be becoming rather uh, worrisome over areas of Mexico and just about into Guatemala and to the northern part of that territory you can see some flare-ups in convection over land much more than over water as a matter of fact um, which is also creeping into Belize 
Uh, models, well, this is what they're saying. Uh, the HWRF, one of the most aggressive models for this system, calling it a Category 1, although one or two other models not depicted here are saying the same. Wind shear uh, lowering in the next 24 to 48 hours before starting to have a slow ramp up again. And you look at the model consensus there, you can see, um, well, there isn't one. Uh, th that is why we're very uncertain about this system. It's extremely slow movement. And there's the HWRF run, that's calling for Category 1 there, heading towards Texas. That's just one run, it could go completely differently. And there's the same model for the Indian Ocean Cyclone, which they also think will become a Category 1 and strike very close to Mumbai, the first strike since 2009. On this day in 1972, look how busy it was. Annette in the East Pack, Mamie and Lola, both significant cyclones in the West Pack and 4W developing, and Ida was down there in the Southern Pacific too. Well, what a day that would have been if we were tracking it today. Arthur and Bertha have already c come and gone. If you missed it, in the Atlantic, the next name is Cristobal. In the Eastern Pacific, Amanda, that happened not so long ago. Very uh, short-lived cyclone. The next name is Boris. In the Central Pacific, on list one, the next name is Hone. On list three, in the Western Pacific, we have Western Pacific, we've had Vong Fong, followed by Nuri in the North Indian Ocean. Ampon finished list eight in style as a category five. First name on the new list is Nisaga. In the Australian region, Imogen, if we get there, to the next storm before the end of the month. And in the Southwest Indian Ocean, Kundai. And in Fiji, Yolanda for the South Pacific. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of ultimate fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.